What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. So to round off what happened last time, uh, we we took Vienna, we took Vienna, we landed in the Americas and had a bit of a scrap with the Mughals over there, and now the Dagestan, the remaining Dagestan troops are uh, going to try and sally. So let's take them out. This is pretty important because this army can then be freed up to march south and probably pick up some new troops in Persia. And then probably this army will likely be sent towards Pakistan, not Pakistan, well, well yeah, towards Pakistan, but the specific territory is Afghanistan. They can march forward, reclaim those lands. Okay. Um, so... What usually happens in situations like this, when the empire or when the the faction that the, the, well, the the army that's sailing is so small, they may actually just be right in front of us. So I'm not going to deploy my field artillery, even if they're not in front of us. It doesn't really matter. Right, you just wait. Ah, they deployed back in the city. Well, let's speed up time. Just because they've got some... Uh, they've got some distance to go. As soon as our howitzers get their targets. Straight into the centre. You guys... Provincial Cav. Provincial Cav is not very strong. Let's take this unit I left at the back and let's spread. Just bring the line up like that. This pro provincial. Hey, they're charging. Bold. Actually charging parallel to my main line of resistance. General's bodyguards pushing out. All of them just drop shells on. Drop quick climb shells here. Into this breach. Poor souls. Poor, poor souls. Little did they know the provincial cavalry was rubbish. My cavalry, my, my infantry might not be brilliant man for man, but by God, it's enough to smash a small army like this. Earn them some experience, too. And then make ready. Fire! The fifth order has been broken. Provincial cavalry is done. The eighth are marching up. In column. For deploying into line. Yeah, you fellows did not stand much of a chance. But that was exactly what was intended. Sometimes the sieging strategy here is almost death by a thousand cuts rather than a uh, <sighs> Rather than a concentrated assault, sometimes it's nice to just let them run at you wave after wave. But unfortunately, unlike the robots in Futurama, we don't have kill switches. Yep, there they go.
pick new quick claim targets just because because I got it. Ah, <laughs> oh, they're too close. Those firelock arm citizenry aren't though. They're going to be in the, in the field of fire of four line infantry units. Oh, isn't it beautiful? <laughs> but there they go. And I'm, there's, I'm not going to bother chasing them down. That should be uh, the end of the battle. That should be the territory. Oh, I thought the territory might be ours. Too bad. Okay, first things first. Got this annoying privateer. Deploy two third rates to go and destroy said privateer. Let's rebuild, let's upgrade the Ordnance Board, but first of all, let's hop over to the Americas. Because I do want... Okay, you... Get in Otto Brander. Can't recruit actual infantry here. Upgrade the Madrasa, upgrade the workhouse... Upgrade the, um... The plantation. Ooh, ten grand for a global trading company there is a bit much. Let's see if I can march through the land and get to uh, New Orleans rather than fight the garrison here at Florida. Although it's pretty weak, but they do. <laughs> it's a lot of, there's a lot of mass there. Obviously, you're causing trouble. So this army that was going to prep for any attacks on Sweden can just be sent to take you out. And you guys replenish and get back to port. So this is the army. To be honest, they haven't got many troops. I might just send my... <laughs> send my uh, cavalry <laughs> up into the city. To hold it because <laughs> with all that heavy cavalry they won't take it because these units are very depleted so you're going south you are going up to join this guy although he could probably lose some of his artillery then my siege guns can move up so you lose your 24 pounder gain a siege artillery piece you lose one of your 18 pounders and gain a siege artillery piece let's spend a bunch of money repairing Vienna's territories At some point we have to go and fight these guys, which I think we'll probably do this turn. Probably just send an army like this to hit this guy. Well, if we bring this army in to fight against Ernst Jung, then it will bring this army in as reinforcements, which might be desperately needed. Do some upgrading behind the lines. Because we are a benevolent empire, we do want the best for all our peoples. Let's repair the steam-powered cloth mill. A lot of good construction. There we go, Dagestan is ours, and they're very angry. Minus 19, but they do have a university, so let's get rid of that. The university will bring them into line. Let's replenish you chaps. Two Islamic swordsmen, so let's take your 
Verlene Musketeers, they are very elite, but they are now surplus to requirements. Well, how much do you want? 14, 10, 18, 6. Okay, so these guys are just better. They are just, just better than the Bashi Bazooks because they've got those little shields. So let's take you and let's take you. Disband. Take up position in the city because they are. They're coming our way. Although I'm going to start just mass building. Well, let's build, actually build some cavalry that we can call in as reinforcements for the battle. You have got one more turn of one more turn of uh, man of uh, recruitment then this army's ready. You're not recruiting a general's bodyguard at all. So let's pick one up here. Ismail Nureddin. Okay, let's pick up some can't build any Nizam until this is done let's pick up some to be honest let's yeah let's pick up two units of israeli because then this recruitment queue will be done when the new barracks is finished just keep upgrading our military capacity but what i want Was you, you're you're pushing up to Venice, which I don't necessarily need you to do. March down to Thessaloniki, where I will ship you by sloop over to Valletta to help convert that island to Islam. And we can send our army over to hit Tunis, which is fully garrisoned, but will be destroyed. Venice will not be allowed, not be permitted to live. Then soon we'll have to hit Denmark as well. Although I will want to do that when all this is resolved, so I can send an army in to go take the city quickly, and then this chap can engage Alf Sundin to the south, to the to the south, and then we can also hit Tripoli as well. Brandenburg. Ah, that's where you're getting your guns from and your infantry. Okay, they're a little bit grumpy. Let's maybe keep a unit of infantry. Okay, let's maybe keep these chaps in there for now, just to let them settle down. most of our territories I don't really think we can afford to uh, we can afford to push out too strongly let's just push this guy out to Munich we're building a madrasa here to the north we are so then this imam can push up to Hanover Catholicism on the way down. So Vienna, Vienna might might uh, struggle on for a bit. I'm send this Hashashin down to have a look at Rome. Okay, at some point we need to clean up this little bundle of troops here. Although. Really, when this army's picked up its picked up its siege guns, you can march down, clear these guys out, take Zagreb, and also join on the attack into northern Italy. Want to com want to combine these? Well, not combine. You know, make these forces a bit more coherent here before pushing west. But as a start of ten, has you, Mr. Fouad? Let's do that. You converting, you are converting to Islam. Good. And you hit Ernst Jung. It's definitely not the direction I wanted you to really attack. And you're not bringing in any reinforcements either. Well, let's attack one of the armies at least. Because we need to start 
picking these troops up lest they become a a pustule or a saw behind the lines that well you can't afford to ignore nearly two stacks of prussian troops behind my front line Field artillery. Take the high ground. My infantry. Take up a focused blocking position. My janissaries are going to hold the right flank. My light infantry are going to hold the left. They're going to be supported by the bulk of my cavalry. Janissaries will get a Sepahi unit, then we have a Riskers of Souls unit behind the line to wait and see. Howitzers deployed, just keep firing quick line as, as uh, fast as possible. General in the centre. Okay, so our. Gonna get a cavalry push on the right by the looks like it, by the looks like, but we may end up actually just getting skirmished by their cavalry rather than being a true push. The horse artillery is broken, well most of it is. So these guys, are you, are you going to skirmish us or are you going to engage us? Well, either way, you're going to get shot at first. Managed to escape. No, we don't. Melee. Drop into square. These guys are going to have great fun engaging the light cavalry. That's a gendarmerie unit. Gendarmerie aren't going to stand up to very much. The Lancer Guards look pretty neat. So my artillery is doing excellent work. This unit of Marines, I, I admire their... I admire their uh, gumption. These light cavalry sharpshooters getting countercharged by my Sepahi, which are going to have a great time. My skirmishes on the flank are going to have a good time against these marines. This unit can get out of square and engage the sharpshooters themselves. These two units get back out of square into line to engage their troops. Gun my cavalry up the flank because we've got the advantage. There you go, they've been shattered. Get you guys out of square formation. Pick up this unit. Form a new flank. Keep the cavalry pushing on the flank. Okay, the Delhi horsemen. Both units go after the general's bodyguard. Field artillery engage battlefield targets okay you guys need to push up to more like there you guys need to push up to more like here. There we go, then deploy my cavalry to chase down and engage their remaining troops. The general's been killed, so we can ignore him. Hit the Frycorn, take them out. You come over here, because we also want to take out this Grenadier Guard unit.
Watch you go after the Grenadier Guards. Delhi Horsemen carry on with the Flight Corps. These Grenadiers, I commend them for staying or sticking around as long as they have. These Marines aren't going to die. I'm going to die easy. Good stuff. This is exactly what we want to see. You go mow down the Grenadier Regiment. Stuff, my spahi. Smashing their lances. Let's turn off all my artillery. You guys engage the expats. The marines are still they're still holding on. To be honest, all you guys stop firing. Surplus to require. Three, three fly caught to kill. Now it's just the one. So when you've killed him, march over in this direction to help us. To help us destroy their remaining troops. Damn right we're going to continue. Let's notch the speed up a little bit more. go after that foot guard unit you go after those swiss guards good stuff this has been quite a lovely little dismantling of a quite an elite uh, prussian stack It looks like we're going to absolutely destroy <laughs> destroy their forces and then no men have escaped the battlefield. Or at least none that I'm aware of. Some probably have escaped. Two Swiss Grenadiers left to be killed. Damn right. Decisive victory. 67 men remaining. Sorry, Ernst Jung. March. Could probably push on to those guys, but I don't want to push my luck. Because we've had that's quite a nice little battle, really. And we've pushed them to the west of Vienna, which is what we want to see. You're replenishing. Okay, let's have a look at our tech. Durban, yeah, Durban's being destroyed. One more turn to get rid of to have abolished slavery. Two more turns to get machine rifling, then we're going to really start to be running out of things to research. Oh, wait, what's this? Ah, so technically, I've won this campaign. Hurrah! But, um, I do want to do world domination of the Ottoman Empire. That's, that's a, that's a, that's a, a, a given, I think. I definitely want to push on. Let's hit enter. I'm looking forward to uh, dominating the continent, finally destroying all remnants of those crafty Prussians that have hounded us since uh, since our campaign's inception. And it probably does mean I need to spend a bit more time and effort fighting the Mughals than I currently am, and that's okay. But I don't think it's it's not wrong to focus on Europe for now because we do have such a significant advantage ah oh, they raided my madrasa how dare you yeah they've abandoned their uh, quest to attack that territory 
Prussians are pulling out of the pocket. Let's see. Well, the Austrians aren't following suit because they've had their opportunity. The Prussians are now believe that, in terms of research, they need to go on the offensive and try and uh, steal some of my technology. Hey, they've laid siege to Breslau. Do opportunity to intercept. Huh. So that's Mr. Darna up here. Well, is it Mr. Darna up here? I'm pretty sure it is. And if it is this guy, then the reinforcements are Hanover because the flag is showing attrition. Some of these units are attrited here. So it's not this guy, otherwise all the units would be in full strength. Uh, I'm tempted to do it, really. Yeah, let's do it. So, because I know, I know it's not that the full strength unit to the north. They shouldn't be on my side of the river. It should just be a standard river battle, which I think would be pretty neat. We should get some quite good, uh, good kills. Yes. So, got one ford near some trees. And another four that's completely in some trees. Okay, because we've got two fords rather than a bridge, I am going to deploy. Uh, I am going to deploy some howitzers on both both flanks. Spread my forces roughly equally. Until it becomes apparent where their main effort is going to be. But this is when you suddenly realise they're on my side of the river. That's usually what happens. That's par for the course, I think. Oh, Jesus. I knew it. Set up. These men cross the river. Everyone else, run over here. Sipahi engage the horse guards. Then we can engage them just to turn them around. Okay, the cavalry's coming across, so turn off fire at will. Drop my guys into square. You guys get into square. Same with you guys. Let's get my Sipahi in here, because they're after my line infantry. Counter charge. Gendarmerie. You guys should not last very long. And they haven't. You guys push up. There. You guys should do great. Because you're just a bunch of infantry in square formation. So they're not going to have a chance. You're not doing anything. So you guys can rush over to this front. Deploy the sec bands. Has Pahi done great? Holding up their flank. Get my howitzers out of there. You guys turn fire well off. Just 
chase them down. You guys push the front up. The Nizam Light Infantry push over onto the right. The sec bands just get involved. There we go. Then my reinforcements can march over to help out. Here comes their horse artillery. Sec bands are wavering, in which case then you chaps fire at will. Light infantry get around onto the flank. Counter charge the second regiment of horse. Poor old Sekbans. It was not a good time for you. Okay, howitzer. Unlimber. Quick lime it up. Oh, let's also bring my general over here. At least let the men see who they're uh, fighting for. So let's deploy you a bit closer in. There we go. Yeah, those third regiment of foot couldn't take that unit of, couldn't take that fire. Let's engage my howitzer. Quick climb, ho! Yes. Pull my infantry back. So their guard's gonna charge me. They are coming to try and charge us. You men spread out just to maximise your fire. Although I think uh, generally they've been <laughs> repulsed. So it just goes to show nothing is what it seems. I was pretty sure I knew who it was. I was pretty sure how the how the cards were going to fall. Charging in. Well, they were. A regiment of dragoons coming in. Ah, these dragoons came back across the river. Push you guys a bit closer in. So your shots can do more damage. My one lone howitzer, although it's the only howitzer I really need to to engage. Hmm, you thought you were going to turn my flank. Turns out you chaps are going to get absolutely annihilated. You both are finally shattered. This Dragoon unit's dismounted. There we go. General withdrawal. They have been cut down. Good. 
That was quite enjoyable. Close victory, that wasn't anywhere near close. I've still got another five units of infantry that weren't touched. So that was you and it, it was the Hanover garrison. Okay, I don't quite know why they pushed around on that flank. Uh, can't guarantee. Can't, you can't predict some people. Okay, the Af Afghanistan force has expanded. There are reinforcements coming from the Neroon region. Lahore is expanding their production. They are chasing down my army, or attempting to. Duty taken in. I'm going to continue attempting to steal my technology. Fortunately, they don't appear to have the naval capacity to destroy my little sloop and reduce my options for... Oh, hello. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just going to sail them back around to Venice. Okay. I suppose that makes more sense, really. Yes, they raided north and hit my territory. Okay, you guys. Combine. Combining forces. You get a siege gun. You guys get a madrasa here. Which means you guys can... Okay, first of all, I think that means you guys can march. Just go straight for Zagreb. Maintain that siege for a moment. Because it means this guy can march over and take the bridge prevent there from being any gaps you can just go and take out Mr. Uh, Raphael Pfeffer we lost a lot more men than we need to but yeah. you, much. you guys repair so Gotthold Menger is attacking our garrison it's got a lot of artillery in it so it's not a great great army to do defensive battles like that Cavalry incursion to the south. Okay. I don't need to quickly do some... Fight Leonard. There we go. So we're finally clearing up some of the areas in the rear. Let's upgrade some of these buildings. You need this unit of heavy cavalry and this unit of Sipahi. You three march up to this area. Let's take a sloop out of this port. You march up to Thessaloniki. Embark the agent. Land him on Malta to begin the conversion. Good. Sail up to this dry dock. So it's tempting to deploy this fleet here to uh, block this Venetian fleet in the Adriatic and prevent it from moving south to cause problems. I mean, we do have this Venetian, fort, Venetian fleet here, but it's only blocking one port. I don't really care about that. Let's upgrade some of our ports to global trading companies, but that is a big financial investment. You lost your general for whatever reason can rebuild and might even sit here in this naval hospital that can recruit not not quite as heavy a fleet as exists elsewhere so I am planning for the Finnish invasion. So we've got two armies here ready to hit St. Petersburg, although you do not have 
quite the right mix of stuff. Lots of artillery to crack St. Petersburg open, but it's not needed because they don't have a uh, they don't have any defenses. Okay, what you want? It's going to take some time, but we've got we've got some time before we end up fighting before we need to fight the uh, Swedes, so I can recruit some men that won't immediately join the fight. It'll take a few turns for all this to be. I'm recruiting the sent over that, but that's okay. Let's send you guys close to the border. Komi still has religious unrest, but it's so low I might just send the Imam over to Karelia to begin to begin converting the population towards Islam. Port blockaded, that's okay. It's only the pirates. So you guys need to hightail it away towards New Orleans. M may or may not be a good idea. Uh, worst case... Well, I say may or may not be a good idea. Let's send my ship to have a look. Hmm. New Orleans is completely undefended. Well, let's sit inside the port. <laughs> you can march over. Take New Orleans. Check some of our other construction. Lots of top tier buildings being built. Madrasa in Leipzig. Probably don't need a theatre here anymore because you all love us. And you'll love us even more when you've settled down. So you've got the abolition of slavery. So don't work on top gallants. Let's get Comanche to. Okay. Let's get, is there anything I can pick to stop them from researching anything else? There's nothing I can pick to swap my research around. We've got nearly all of the in industrial texts. We've got all the philosophical texts. Well, just let them research as they want now, I guess. Lots of recruitment being done. Persia, you are now... Well, this Janissary unit is the one you want. These guys are all I'm recruiting these chaps. And they can stay to the south. They can stay to the north, where they can't be attacked. Riots in Austria, but they're okay. Uh, Silesia, you can have a craft workshop. You've already got a madrasa. Let's upgrade the industrial mining complex. I might send. Mr. Riza to come and hit this army to help relieve the siege. Can you guys leave now? You can. You guys can join the army. Can you guys go and hit that army there? You can. Good stuff. So we're going to relieve the siege of Breslau. Oops, sorry for that. We're going to relieve the siege of Breslau. We've got lots of, lots of Freikor. Not much artillery. A couple of elite units. But yeah. We'll take them down. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction of the last German army behind our lines, and then we can continue our push uh, westward. Cheers, everyone.